Okay, so this is a little video to show you the dissection of the kidney. Uh, when you pick up your kidney, it will be covered with a layer of fat, which is used to protect the kidney from mechanical shock. Obviously, this feels quite solid. It's actually uh, fairly liquid in real life because animal fats are solid at room temperature, but of course at body temperature, it tends to be a bit more sloshy. So when you've extracted your kidney out of the fat, and it should just tear off with your fingers, um, you'll be able to see that it is still attached through the fat by some tubes. I've just snipped through these. These tubes are, contain the blood vessels. So this bit contains the blood vessel going into the kidney, the renal artery. The blood vessel leaving the kidney with less urea in it, the renal vein. And the ureta, which is taking the formed urine down into the bladder for storage. You can see that the whole thing is covered in a like a smooth membrane, which makes it look a bit shiny, which is lovely. Um, again, so that it can move around within the fat without being damaged. When you're cutting the kidney, it's traditional to sort of cut across so that you end up with two kidney halves. Uh, these are actually from two different kidneys, which is why they look different colours. And if we look at uh, the halves, you can see we've got the cortex running around the outside. This is a darker colour. Um, we've got this pinkish area in the middle, the medulla, and we've got a more fibrous area called the pelvis. The medulla is arranged into little pyramids. So you can see one of these little pyramids there, these little triangular pyramids, with a little gap so that the formed urine, as it's coming down through the collecting duct, drains into that gap and out through the ureter. So, when you watch the video for gross structure of the kidney, you'll realise that what's going on up here is that you've got a really good capillary network, you've got lots of little wiggly windy tubes, the proximal and distal convoluted tubes, you've got the glomeruli, and it all gives it this sort of... Uh, the texture that it's got compared with this, which is far more solid. Um, what's in the medulla then are blood vessels, the loops of Henle going descending and ascending, and the collecting ducts descending down in towards the pelvis, um, and some blood vessels, but the whole thing's got sort of interstitial fluid. It just feels a bit more sort of solid, if you like. The pelvis is just the region that collects the urine and drains it then out of the ureter. Okay, hope that's been helpful.